What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan. This is my Canon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Canoneer. Now, you guys really seem to enjoy our 3D printed Cannonball episode. Now, if you haven't checked that out, I'll drop it in the description below. It's super cool. So we're back today with a little bit of variation on a 3D printed projectile that we're going to be shooting out of our Canon here. Some 3D printed tank rounds. Now, these rounds are the PLA version of tank rounds that would be shot out of an M3 Stewart tank. They're 37 millimeters. Our Canon here is 38 millimeters. So it's basically the perfect size projectile to test out of our Canon here. Now an M3 Stewart tank, if you're not familiar with those, I'll drop a little bit of information for you in the description below as well. We're used by both the uh, British and the American Army very commonly in World War II, and they're still seeing a little bit of service around the world today. Now anyway, the rounds that we're gonna be shooting today are gonna be made out of 100% PLA. They're also hollow on the inside, so I took the opportunity to fill some of them with lead, and also to cut the end of some of them off and fill that with lead, and also tip them with lead as well for a little more penetrator effect. So we got some sabos, we got some penetrator rounds, so I'm excited to see how these things work against our targets today. And speaking of targets, I want to give a quick shout out to Varden's Body Shop in Fairview, Tennessee for helping us out with our targets today. If you guys need any body work in Fairview, go ahead and check them out. They're super awesome. I'll drop their information in the description below. So we've got some car doors that we're going to be shooting today. We're going to be giving this thing some hopefully real world uh, shooting it against a vehicle experience with this uh, 3D printed tank round. So I'm excited to see how they work. So we'll go ahead and travel on over to the range and get this thing loaded up and start shooting. But while we're headed over there, if you haven't done so already, drop down below and hit that subscribe button. I'm sure you guys are going to want to keep up with all the cool stuff that we're going to be shooting with our cannon and cool stuff that we're going to be shooting out of our cannon in the future. Now I'll see you guys over at the range. We'll get this thing loaded up with some tank projectiles and see how they work. Okay guys, for our very first shot using our 3D printed tank rounds, we've got an M63 made out of 100% PLA. So this is the same size round, 37 millimeters, that they would be shooting out of the actual Stewart tanks. So we're going to load this up, shoot it against one of our car hoods over there, put these things to their test to see if they'll go through some actual cars, um, like they would be doing if you shot them out of a real tank. So we got one loaded up, we'll see what happens from about 25 yards or so, and then we're going to take them all out to about 40 yards to see if they'll go through a couple of car doors. Okay guys, we got one of our 100% PLA M63 rounds loaded up. There's no lead in this, we're just going to see how accurate it is. If it will hit the car hood over there, and if it does, will it go through? So let's touch this off and see what happens. Wow, that's a hole. <laughs> that I did not expect. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if it just broke apart when it hit or just, I have no earthly idea. So here's a piece of the, the print. <laughs> Good night. I am excited to check out the slow-mo. I did not expect that at all. I wonder if it'll go through a couple of car doors. We've got three today. We'll test to see if it'll go through that. Now, I'm excited to see what'll happen. Okay, guys, for our next 3D printed tank round, our regular runs are hollow in the middle. We went ahead and filled one of them up with lead. So this is solid lead in the middle here, printed on the outside, PLA. We we're gonna load one of these up in our cannon and see if this will go through our car hood. We went ahead and upped our difficulty just a little bit and added another one behind it. So we got a car door and a car hood. We're gonna see how this flies and if it'll go through both. Okay guys, so for our next shot with our 3D printed tank rounds, we've got one loaded up that's filled with a solid core of lead. We've got two car doors, a door and a hood. We're going to see if it'll go through both of those. Let's go ahead and touch this off, see if they fly straight. And if they do, what kind of damage they'll do. And let's go check it out. It looks like it came apart into at least two or three pieces. Wow. <laughs> Good gosh. One hole there, two holes there. Let's pull this one up, see if it went to the second one. It just looks like it shredded. Went into pieces right there, cut in half. Look around the back and see what happened. It just bulged the back of that door out. Wow. That's just scary. So 
it doesn't go through both of them, but it'll sure put a wallop on that car door. Good night. Look at the inside there. I bet it just shredded that thing. Okay, guys, so for our next shot with our tank rounds, I've got a brand new type of round here. This is our 3D printed outer body. It's filled with lead, and the tip here is also filled with lead. So I sand casted the top part up here. This is solid lead. It's got a solid lead core and an outer shell of PLA. We're going to load one of these up. See if this will go through our car door and our car hood over there, and then we're going to move it back and see if it'll go through three. Okay, guys, so for our next shot, we've got one of our tipped with lead, as well as filled with lead tank rounds loaded up. We've got our two car doors, car door and a car hood over there. We're going to go ahead and touch this off and see if it'll go through both of them from a distance of about 25 yards or so. Let's go look. You can see right where it hit in the middle there. I'm not sure what these things do. I'm excited to check out the high speed and look. Ooh, wow. Okay, it looks like they keyhole. It's like a perfect shape of that tank round right there. Wow. Yeah, looks like it just keyholes around back in there. Hey, there's the lead core out of our round here. Oh, it's hot. So you can see what's inside of our round there. It's that lead core. So that did not go through. Looks like it may have hit that on the previous round. Maybe that's where that came from. Maybe that's what that is right there. Yeah, that's probably exactly what that is right there. Wow, that's scary. Okay, guys, so for our next shot, we got a brand new 3D printed tank round loaded up. This is a hollow one with nothing in it, just pure PLA. We went ahead and moved our car doors and car hoods out to about 45 yards. We've got three of them stacked up or so. We're going to see if we can hit them from this distance with a just pure PLA pellet, and we're going to see if it'll go through if we do hit them. So let's touch this off and see what happens. Hey, 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 so these 3D printed tank rounds look like they're pretty accurate. They look like they might keyhole, but they look like they can at least hit where we're aiming. So we were aiming at the middle of that car hood right there, and it went square through the center there, or sideways through the center. And you can definitely see the shape that that takes looks just like our tank round. Right through there. Looks like it keyholed through there in the center. And it didn't even go through the second one, or the third one. Okay. All the pieces of filament down there on the ground is where it powdered. So at least it'll go through one door right there. All the pieces of paint and filament and stuff down there on the ground. So let's go ahead and add in one of our filled tank rounds and see what happens from this distance and see if that'll go through all of our car doors. Okay guys, so for our next shot, we've got one of our 3D printed tank rounds loaded up that's filled with lead, a solid lead core. The wind's picked up a little bit, so I'm excited to see if the wind will have any effect on our tank round as it flies through the air. We're at about 45 yards, we've got three car doors sacked up down there. We're gonna go ahead and touch this off and see what happens. And it looks like from this distance that went a little high. Or did we hit it down there in the corner? Hey, we may have hit it low. Yep, we did, right there in the bottom. I didn't see that. Ooh, that went all the way through. Looks like that went all the way through between three of them. Yep, you can see all the way through there. So that goes straight through. So a tipped lead round. We'll go all the way through our car doors from this distance. Two car hoods and a car door. Let's go ahead and check out the back of them. Yeah, straight through. So that's a big old hole that thing needs to fix. Take a car door. Put that. 
see what happens on the inside. Whoa, that's a hole. <laughs> that's an exit hole. And our entrance hole in the other one over there. You can see they just kind of look like the tank rounds are just shredded. And right over the answers hole. And our last car door here. Those are scary. I'm excited to see what the lead tipped as well as lead filled will do from this distance. Okay guys, so for our very last shot, we've got one of our 3D printed tank rounds loaded up that's filled with lead inside as well as tipped with a solid lead tip. We're at 45 yards or so. We got all three of our car parts stacked up over there. We're gonna see if this thing will shoot accurately and if it does, if it'll go through all three of our car doors. So let's go ahead and set this up, touch it off and see what happens. Well, that had no problem whatsoever going through the car door. In fact, I saw it fly off in the distance up there and hit in the background. <laughs> okay, so that looks like it either broke in half or I'm not real sure what happened. I'm excited to check out the high speed. We'll have to look. One hole there didn't go through, but it looks like that went clean through. I wonder if that's where the core went through and maybe that's where the PLA hit or maybe it broke apart. I don't know, but that went clean through all of our car parts here. So hole number one, right through the support beam there, went through all the middle parts. That was it. Right there is our exit entrance into hood number two. Exit out of hood number two. And Entrance into car door number three, I think. Uh, maybe not. That's a rock hole. Doesn't look like it went through the third one. Just conveniently lined up. Wow. Still pretty scary. So it looks like it went through two of them. And it may just been looking through the window on that last one. But still, that's impressive. Those tank rounds are scary coming out of that cannon. Well, guys, that was super cool. I really didn't expect these things to be nearly as accurate as they are, but that's really nice to know because now we can add them to our repertoire to test out in the future for some distance shooting, maybe shooting them against some other targets and things like that, just to see how much damage they do. So that was super neat. Um, I think my favorite was the just regular old traditional printed tank round. It seemed to fly the best. It seems to put the biggest hole in stuff and it doesn't seem to break apart kind of like our other rounds do. But if we had a much better high speed, it would be really cool to see how those things perform, but they move so quick, you can't even really see them on our high speed as well. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you have any things that you want to see us shoot out of our cannon in the future, go ahead and let me know in a comment below. I'm always open for suggestions, and I do my best to try to get those out for you guys in a future video. Now, if you guys did like this video as well, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It's really going to help us get this video out into the world of YouTube. And if you do have any comments or things that you want to know about our cannon here, um, just ask them in a comment below, and I'll hopefully answer those for you very soon. Now, once again, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Cannoneer. My name's Jonathan, this is my cannon, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.